Hey everybody, it's Carmen and welcome to my October makes. Let's get right to it. My first one is Butterick 5615. This pattern is described as a fitted top with ties and a notched collar. There are back darts, front and back peplum, and a button opening. I worked on view A, which is the sleeveless version, and that one has shoulder tabs. This was a tester just to test the fit on this one, and it fit me just fine right out of the pattern. I made no adjustments. The pattern goes together fairly easily, and I would recommend it. I am looking forward to making another version, possibly one with the sleeves. I paired that top with Vogue Elements 9616. This is described as fitted shorts above the knee and can also be a tapered pants. I trace out my vintage patterns and on this one I bumped out the back seam just a hair to give me a better fit in the back. The shorts have front darts and back darts and there's a back zip. The pattern comes together easily and I would highly recommend it. I love the fit of the shorts, especially in this fabric that has a little bit of stretch. I'm looking forward to making these shorts again in a linen. I'm not crazy about the carrier placement on these shorts. When I make it again, I'll put the carriers where I think they make more sense. The plaid fabric gave me the opportunity for using my pattern matching skills and I don't think I did a too bad of a job. My original intent was to have a, a dressier pair of shorts that would go with the jacket, but I don't know if I'm crazy about the look. What do you think? Using the same fabric, I did McCall's 7686. McCall's 7686 is a pattern that has top, a dress, and skirts. It's a pullover. There are no closures on this dress. There aren't even any darts in it. This is a great pattern if you are brand new to sewing or coming back after a long time. Because there are no darts in this dress, I noticed a bit of a natural pull in the bust area, just under the bust. It actually creates a dart look. The pattern does recommend that you use a knit. So because this fabric had a little stretch to it, I went with it. The fabric I used did not have enough stretch in it. And I think that's why I'm getting the pull, uh, the pull effect at the bust line. I made the dress to go with the jacket. It doesn't look bad, making for some pretty easy dressing. If you like makes videos, check out this one here and I'll meet you there.